Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So back in 1982, there was an SAT math question that none of the students got the right answer, mostly because there was no right option to choose and partially because they have misunderstanding. So the question was the radius of circle A is one third the radius of circle B. And the circle A rolls around circle B one trip back to the starting point. And how many times will circle A revolve in total? One of them, three over two, then B, three, and C, six, D, nine over two, and E, nine. So what they think is this. So the condition is now the radius of the circle A is one third the radius of circle B. That means the radius of circle A is now one over three times radius of circle B, which means three times radius of circle A is equal to just the radius of circle B, which means the ratio. So the ratio of RA to RB, this is only equal to now one to three. We already know the formula for the circumference, right? The circumference was two pi R. So that's why C, the circumference of the circle A to the circumference of circle B is also one to three. Okay, then let's work this out. Now the circumference of circle A is equal to two pi and R A. And circumference of the circle B is equal to two pi R B. We already know this R A. R A is now equal to one over three R B. So that is why now we can represent your C A. So C A is now equal to two pi times which is two over three, and then pi R B. So that's why in order for you to get just the CB, which is 2 pi RB, we needed to multiply 3 to this. Then we can cancel this 3s out. Then we have 2 pi RB. That's why a lot of the students got B as the answer. But it was not the right answer. To see the reason why, we need to take a look at how your circle A is rolling on the circumference of the circle B. If the situation was if you cut the circle B at somewhere and make it as the straight line, and if your circle A is rolled on that straight line, then this B might be the answer. But making sure the circle A is rolling on the circumference of the circle B. So that is why what we need to think is your radius of circle A was R A. And then this is the center of the circle B. That means this straight line has to be the radius of circle B, which we can call R B. We already know your R B was equal to three times R A. Making sure since your circle A is rolling on the circumference of the circle B, we need to make another circle. Make another circle that should be looking just like this. And then we need to get the circumference of this circle in red. The circle in red, I'll be calling this as just circle C. It should have its radius of RA plus RB. So for circle C, radius is now RA plus RB. This is equal to RA plus 3RA, which is 4RA. So that's why if you calculate your circumference of the circle C, which is in red, Circumference of the circle C is equal to 2 pi times the radius, which is 4 times RA. That is 8 pi RA. Originally, your circumference of the circle A was simply 2 pi RA. So that's why we needed to multiply 4 to this 2 pi RA to get 8 pi RA, which is the circumference of this circle in red. So that's why the right answer was 4, but 4 was not one of these five options. So that's why none of the students got the right answer for that. That's the math question. Back in 1982. Okay, so I'll be back with more videos, more questions like this sometime soon.